separates me from you now. Hi there. So I have decided to do an update vlog on what it takes to see to do law school. And um, because I went back and I was looking at some of the other ones and I've talked with um, some visually impaired folks and I wanted to make it clear on what aids am I using, what are successful, what is not necessary for me, and um, just real world, practical, pragmatic use of some of this stuff. What works, what doesn't. So what I want to show you all first is, um, and I have a vlog called The Mothership Has Landed, and it talks about the reader, the desktop reader. I talk about uh, some of the other ones, but this is the one that I have found to be most successful. So I'm going to turn so that you can see. This one is by Humanware. They have other ones that are... Um, uh, the Merlin is one of the most popular ones, and it's a couple hundred dollars cheaper than this. This was over three thousand dollars, but um, it has the most high def crystal image. And because I am not completely legally blind, um, I like the crystal clearness of um, the lettering. I don't need it as big as some people need it. Some people need it huge. I don't need it that big. I can go down, um, actually what I like to do is get a whole page in because your brain works better um, when you read from side to side. So when you're making this really large and you're going back and forth like this, it's a little blurry. First of all, you can see it blurs while it moves. So I have to stop. It gives me a headache to do that when it's blurry. So I have to stop um, and go back and forth like that. Some people can do this really fast and they absorb it really well. It gives me a headache to do that. So I don't do that. Um, so I like to take it down so that I can see most of a full page. If I need to, I'll do half and half. Um, and your brain is meant to absorb written material more from going side to side. You're using, uh, you're crossing the midline. There's a whole, whole science to that, but you remember more when you uh, move your eyes back and forth from side to side. So I, for that, that whole effort, and I figured that out when I was studying for the baby bar, that when I'm going back and forth, my eyes are fatiguing and I'm getting a headache and I'm not absorbing as much. Um, so I have learned to go and stop, go and stop. Anyway, so that's, that's what I use. This is called a desktop reader. Basically, this is a closed circuit video camera. It magnifies, it self focuses. They do have some now, um, that I was, I was looking online and I keep up with the research on this that read to you. So that's kind of interesting for in the future for me. Um, and if they could make that portable, that would rock for me. But I wanted to show you that I'm doing something called book briefing now. You can see I can highlight because I can fit my highlighter pins and I use a multitude of highlighter pins. These are clicky ones and I like that because then I don't leave the cap off and they die. Um, so I use highlighter pins and I write in the margins and um, everything has a different color. So yellow is facts, orange is our holdings or cases or judge names. Um, or not holdings, green is holdings, blue is statutes, um, and pink is the issue. And I do that, and you can see too that I can, um, and I'll just zoom in on that, You can, I can write notes in the margins, and I write notes in different colors, um, just because what I have found, being visually impaired in law school, is that one of my teachers loves to do this. She uses the Socratic method and she likes to call on you and say, where in that case does it say this? Or what did the judge get to? And all of a sudden, and I actually hate this. This is one of the very few times that I actually feel disabled when I'm in law school. She wants me to find it out of like a four page case. And what she doesn't understand, even though I email all my professors at the beginning of the term and say, um, I'm visually impaired, I use a reading device, um, what she doesn't understand is I don't see the whole page. <laughs> even if I zoom out, I only see a chunk. So when she's saying, you know, where in the case does it say that? Well, to go through and look quickly at the case, turn the pages, and try and find what she's talking about, it's like reading through a telescope. Even if my, I expanded out this much, I'm still only seeing a chunk. 
So it is one of the downfalls. So I have really gotten into highlighting and briefing this way and writing notes. So it gives me at least an edge. But there are many times that I have found in law school, I just need to say, it's going to take me a minute to find that. So if another classmate could help me, and then I just back off. <laughs> um, if she continues to push, then I will keep looking. But it really does, it makes me stumble and feel insecure. Um, and I don't like that. <laughs> so um, that is the only time. But this is the best way I can find to compensate for that, to stay on my game with the Socratic method in law school. So I just wanted to show you my desktop reader. It also does, you can do um, black and white or white on black. Um, you can do, this is regular color. You can do, um, I think there's a way to do blue and yellow. I don't know, because I never use that. Um, you can make a dot so that, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see that dot. Um, it just moves around to help you kind of focus and find where you were. You can put a line here and you can move the line uh, up and down like that. When you're reading, you can also put a line this way and move it back and forth. Um, I don't typically use that. Sometimes I use this if I'm copying something to my computer or you can block it that way. Um, those are, and then you can change the brightness and the darkness. Um, I typically don't like things very bright. It hurts my eyes. Um, people with star are very sensitive to light. So I try to keep things as low as possible. Um, the more light you get into your retina, the more damage that is done. So anyway, that is my desktop reader and I wanted to show you all that so that you knew that is one of the keys to my success in law school. I will also show you, and I, this is what I used for the baby bar, I used my laptop. It is a Mac. Mac is one of the most visually impaired, disabled friendly. So I will show you why. Let's see if I can move this back. This is a Mac desktop that I'm doing the vlog on so that you know, but um, Macs, you can go into general settings and set it so that you can zoom in and zoom out with the touch of fingers. Very, very simple. So basically all I'm doing is I touch this button right here and I slide two fingers up and down. It's not the pinch, it's just honestly sliding up and down. So I can't hold it though because this is very heavy <laughs> and do that. So I slide in and out and you can see I can make my screen really big. You can see that here. Um, the other thing that I use on my Mac, and this has saved me for the multiple choice questions, is I can make my Mac read to me, <laughs> which is sometimes faster than me scrolling back and forth and reading it in a magnified mode. So I will give you an example of that. On August 14, 2006, Anderson Reading brought a 42 me. USC paragraph 1983 action against the city and district. Um, and that is in accessibility, and I, I think it's called read, read text or read to me. Um, and it's it, uh, you can find that if you need to Google it, you can. Um, a friend of mine showed that to me. Thank you, Mark. Um, and that has really helped me. Sometimes I will listen to it as I'm reading it because now since my visual impairment, I learn more in an auditory mode. So that gives me two mediums to get it into my head and memorize it. So those are some of the key ways that I study. I, I don't know that I could do law school and read the amount of material I read. Um, and do the uh, multiple choice questions and stuff. This is what I use on my exams. This is what I use for daily study. Um, this is what it, when I have, you know, 150 pages to read, I need to be able to move that fast. And I, and you know, we just did, we're doing a brief and the research, we had something like 47 cases to read. So I would copy them off of Westlaw and put them into a pages document and then make it read it to me. And it's actually kind of awesome because I can then multitask. And as a single parent, um, I can set it up to read it to me and um, it'll read to me while I'm doing dishes or cooking or something. And that's really helpful. So um, I really, really like that function. It's great for multitasking. So even if you're not visually impaired, I would say that that's really helpful. Um, I don't really use any other tools 
um, right now, that's basically, and then I have my little magnifier glasses, which are in the other vlog that I had from last year, what it takes to see. I've gotten really into marking my places with tabs for quick reference because finding page numbers is slower for me. Um, and I think that's basically my visual impairment tools at this time. I do take um, exams and put them into large print so that I can have them. Um, the school doesn't do that for me anymore, but the baby bar did give me everything in large print and I requested everything at 24 point so that I could see it. I can squeak by with 18 or 20, but 24 point is much more comfortable and I can go faster with that. So, um, that is what it takes for me to see to do law school. I hope that's helpful for anybody who's visually impaired to kind of know what it really takes, what, it, what you really need, what the tools are. This is what works for me. There's a myriad of tools out there. I've talked about other ones that I have, but I've realized I don't need as much. So um, just trying to keep it real and help out those who are like me. Okay, thanks. Have a great day. Catch you on the flip side.